Thing. Order! Order! And you are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Almost 330,000 patients waited longer than they should have to be seen at A&E departments in England last month, with waiting times at their worst level since the four-hour target was introduced in 2004. And hospitals have been reporting significant problems finding beds for those needing to be kept in for treatment. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, reports. I'm taking some blood. Dion is one of the increasing number of patients who've been going into A&E. She had severe stomach pains. I couldn't get an appointment at my, my own GP. They said it won't be, you won't get one for three weeks. So I was really, you know, sort of panicking a bit. The pressures are even more intense than last winter. 84.4% of patients were seen or treated in A&E within four hours last month, the lowest in 15 years. There were 564,000 emergency admissions of patients to hospitals, a record high, up more than 7% from last January. I think we are in, same as last year, a full-blown crisis. We've got even more patients coming to our front doors, more than last year, more than last month. Performance is tailing off month by month. Our hospitals are just as full as they ever have been. In fact, they're, they're fuller this month than they've ever been before. The strains on the NHS are the same around the UK, though England's a &E performance was behind Scotland, but ahead of Wales and Northern Ireland, based on their latest data. Flu cases aren't as high as last year. There hasn't been so much cold weather. Winter is far from over, and nobody on the front line of the NHS is taking anything for granted about what the next few months may bring. We're the sort of canary in the mine. When the pressure is across the whole system, you see it most acutely in the emergency department. Dr Ali Sanders and her team at Charing Cross Hospital have eased the pressure by filtering off more patients who can be tested and treated quickly. We've really grown our, our ambulatory care, our same-day emergency care service, which sees a lot of patients that in the, in the old days would have gone both through the emergency department and into the main hospital before, before they, their condition was identified and treated. It's lovely. Thanks to this scheme, Dion is quickly seen, tested and cleared to go home. It's been quite good. I've been um, quite surprised, really, to be, to, be, to be seen by a doctor within two hours. I'm afraid at the moment we haven't got any beds available on the unit. But across the system, despite their best attempts, hospitals are close to the edge as they try to cope with the relentless increase in patient numbers. Hugh Pym, BBC News. Happy.